Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover element locators. We are also going to understand what are different type of element locators supported in Selenium. So first we need to understand what is element locator. I'm moving to the browser. I'm taking an example in which I want to automate this login functionality of the Facebook. So here, first we need to enter username here and then password and then click on a login button. So once we go for the automation, if I want to perform some action on any of the UI element, text box, checkbox, radio button, option button, everything is called an element. So if I want to perform any action on these elements, so first we have to search this element. First we have to locate the element, then we can perform action. So to locate an element uniquely on the page, we are going to use different techniques that is called element locator. So as a definition we can call with the help of the element locator, we can locate or we can search an element uniquely on the page. So here, if I want to perform some action, first I'll have to search an element and for searching, we are going to use different techniques. These techniques are called element locator. We have multiple element locators which are supported by Selenium. So we have like ID, name, identifier, link, CSS, DOM, XPath, class name and tag name. Taking an example, like I want to locate this element. So first I'm going to view its HTML. Here it shows the HTML of that element. So as we know, we have different type of element locator. So like ID. So if you want to locate an element with its ID. So here we can see developer set ID in the HTML. So I'm picking this ID and moving to my Selenium IDE. Here I want to locate an element with the ID. So I just set ID is equal to value. Click on the find button and here we can see it's getting highlighted. Means I'm able to locate my element by using first element locator which is ID. In the same way we can use other element locators like if I want to look an element by name so I can go to my HTML and here we can see developer set name of the element. So I can use name is equal to email as I click on the find button and it is able to locate and highlight my element. I can locate an element by using second element locator which is name. So we have gone through two element locators. One is ID and other is name. By same way, we have many other element locators like identifier, link, CSS, DOM, XPath, class name and tag name. We have some element locators which are supported by RC but not by WebDriver and few other locators which are supported by WebDriver but not by Selenium RC. So we can see like identifier which is supported by Selenium RC but in WebDriver we cannot use this identifier element locator. In the same way like DOM is not available in the WebDriver but we can use in the Selenium RC. Here we can see one element locator which is tag name which is supported in the WebDriver but that is not available in Selenium RC. So here we can see few element locators are there which are supported by either RC or WebDriver but we have a good number of element locator which are supported by both Selenium RC and WebDriver. So at the end to summarize, so with the help of the element locator, we can locate an element or we can search an element uniquely on the page. We have different type of element locators. ID, name, identifier, link, CSS, DOM, XPath, class name and tag name. For the interview point of view, I'm going to cover a few questions like 
what are the different element locators we are using more often while working so while work mostly we use xpath because it might be possible we have many element where id is not present name is not there and other element locators are not there but we can generate xpath for all elements to synchronize or to use same kind of element locator for all elements we can use xpath and also in the case of dynamic elements it might be possible id name and other values are getting changed continuously but still we can locate dynamic element by using xpath so xpath is the most commonly used element locator which we are going to use practically thanks for watching this